Hello YouTube, how's everybody doing out there? It's your boy CB Burrs man, coming at you with GT Sport. Hope you enjoy watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, click the bell so you can see all my videos. Enjoy watching the cheater cars. <laughs> yes, the Porsche. I used to use that, but then this car that I'm using has a better power to weight ratio. So, yeah. Also, I don't know what the heck that was. What the heck was he doing? Alright, well, here we go. Look at the cheater cars go. I call them cheater cars because their acceleration is ridiculous. I think I had a pedal. It got rear ended right there. Watch. Almost hit that guy. I don't know. He, he must not have been paying attention or something. But those Porsches, man. See, I got bumped slightly. I accidentally bumped him and I got a penalty. <clears throat> but it wasn't a big penalty, it was a small one, it's okay. Look at the acceleration of those cars. I lost to the Porsche's acceleration. Watch. There they go. Look at that, there's a Porsche behind me. I didn't know he got next to me. There he goes. Look at the acceleration, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. I used to use it all the time. But it, tried to try something new, but thought that better power to weight ratio would be better, it wasn't by much. <clears throat> but one thing that's bad about the Porsches is you have to brake sooner than this car. And I, I was already on the brakes, but ABS is on weak. If I slam the brakes, I slide. So, tried to avoid it, got another penalty. That's okay. But, look at that, look at them. Their acceleration is like, it's ridiculous. It's, you almost, if you race any car that's not the Porsche, you're gonna lose. You're, there's no way to win. <clears throat> but my car does have a higher top speed, and drafting along with the higher top speed is pretty good. I still the inside there. And there goes first and second place. Gone. <laughs> the cheater car is real. Come on, Gran Turismo. Next, next download makes those cars a little more even. <clears throat> but yep. Just 
got to cut the power down a tiny bit, maybe like three, maybe like five or ten horsepower or something. Make it so we can't tune our cars, and then you don't make the cars even. Aren't we not able to tune our cars so that the cars are even? That's a good almost mess up right there. I got, I'm, I'm thinking, great, I got one of the Porsches behind me, he's going to catch me, but, I drive with this view, because it's the only view with a rear view, <laughs> this needs a rear view, at the top of the screen or something because when you do the inside actually this one's got a pretty good rear view I never noticed that top right of the screen that's a pretty good rear view camera actually a rear view mirror but unless we could well why can't we use a VR headset online? It's another question. It'd be so much better because you could look around in your car like you're actually driving. You could look at the rear view mirror in the middle of the car. You could look at the ones outside the, the windows. You could look next to you. I just, I don't understand why. It's just so much better to use the VR headset and have the steering wheel and the pedals and the shifter. It'd be so, so cool. But yeah. As of now, I drive this view just because of the rear view mirror. worst part of this race is the guy who doesn't go in the pits. This video might be long. It might be a long video because I think I'm going to record this guy throughout the whole race because he had a lot of complaints. A lot of complaints. Just don't remember the name. Actually, you know what? I think I'll make a separate video dedicated to that guy. But as of now, this one's just gonna be just me. But yeah, I'll do another video dedicated to that guy. And you'll see it. If you continue to the end of this video, you will know who it is. So that when you see it in the description, you'll know what you're watching. So stick around to the end, 
or just skip to the end or to the middle when it's pit time because this is when he catches up to me. But as of right now, I can't keep up with the Porsches because of their acceleration. Oh, and I messed up there. Forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. So I race with the cones. And for those of you who have no clue what the cones are for, and you just knock them down, I'm sure a lot of people don't know what the cones are for. But usually the cones around this, maybe the 100 mark, somewhere around there, and it's a double cone. So, listen to this for anybody who doesn't know about the cones. The double cone is the average breaking point. That's where, so either a little bit after, a little bit before, that's how you, that, that's your breaking point. Now this one with the single, that's when you start turning. Now I messed up there because the cone was gone. And I didn't think about it, but look, double cone, break, single cone, turn, watch. Double cone, break, turn, you see, watch, double cone, break, turn. For those of you who don't know, that's what they're for. And it also marks where your breaking point should be. Or, not your breaking point. It, it also helps with where your racing line is supposed to be. Double cone, slow down, single cone, turn. Single cone's supposed to be right there, you're supposed to get back on the gas. There you go. So stop knocking down the cones. The cones are there to help. Watch. Double cone. Well, really, you slow down at the 150 mark there. But the double cones are for to help you if you're not good enough, I guess. I broke way too early there. Double cone, single cone. Break, turn. Now, the cones are there just to tell you that that is the average braking point. You can hit the brakes before it, you can hit the brakes after. I usually, depending on which car I'm driving, I, I usually pass it a little bit. Like for this one, I brake at the cone because it's a hard turn. The first turn, I break at, at, no. The first turn, I break at the 150. But yes, they're there to help you. In the game, it's kind of hard to tell distance. So it's good to have those cones there.
tell if it's not hard to tell the distance, it's just not accurate. Speed Striker, he's the problem. So he skipped the pit. And I'm like, oh, he's coming next to me. And I'm like, um... I couldn't use the full whip. <clears throat> but I don't really know. I think that's my fault. Well, not really, because I stayed within the, the line. Like, you're supposed to stay within that line right there. I was kind of on it. And then I was going to swing out, but... He, like, this part was kind of... It was kind of difficult, because he... Obviously, he's going a lot faster than me. I'm coming out of the pits. So he hit the brakes there. I didn't have to hit him till later because I was going at a slower speed. So I didn't want to hit him. So I don't really know if I was wrong there or not. Leave a comment. Let's see. But look at the acceleration of that car. It's kind of ridiculous. Watch. It's this turn. Like, look at him just coming up, up, coming up right behind me. Long straightaway, watch. That acceleration is so stupid. <laughs> but then again, I have higher top speed. So he didn't go in the pits again. So either he went in the pit well if he went I messed up there. If he went into the pits early, he shouldn't be this close. And boom. <laughs> Boom! Look at him turn towards me! <laughs> Look at this! I thought I was leaving him enough room. But again, in this game, you can't tell distance. Look at him push me. And that's a guy who never went in the pit somehow and just ruined my third place. Now I'm in fifth. And since he perfect, purposely pushed me, he pissed me off. Boom. Don't have to worry about that guy no more. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have done that part, but... Yeah, he made me lose third place. And he never even went in the pits. That's considered cheating. Not necessarily cheating, but it was pretty messed up. And then, of 
course, the guy in front of me is in the Porsche. Nothing I can do. <coughs> Look at the acceleration. Gone. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you beat me. You got lucky because somebody messed me up. So, what was his name again? Okay, his name was Speed Striker. That's exactly what he is. He comes in speeding and then strikes you. <laughs> oh, Seed Striker. I read it wrong. Seed Striker. Okay. Remember that name, everybody. In the title, it's going to say GT Sport Seed Striker. But if she isn't as bad as people say, I probably won't be posting the video. But most likely, I'm going to be posting the video because a lot of people said, a lot of people had things to say about it. So, I'm going to make another video of him, dedicated to him, so that everybody can see him have to race against, or to be careful when they race against him. That's the next video.
Oh, almost lost it there. Another good reason to subscribe and ring the bell is if you want to learn good racing ride, you can watch, you can watch my videos. It's probably not the best racing ride, but it's a good one. A lot of it is following the race, the race line that the game requests or tells you. <clears throat> but the racing line, the one that it tells you to take, sometimes isn't exactly right. I had to let my penalties go. Sometimes it's not exactly the best way, but I, I, some of the racing line, like where it tells you to go, I kind of like t have tested them over time, and I still go the way where I would get a better time. So, I think it is a good place to learn a good racing line anyways that's it for this video wait till the next one where i expose siege striker anyways like comment subscribe click the bell so you can watch all my videos have a good night good day good morning see you next time